Hi, welcome to the Shawano County Libraries Wednesday Workout and Wellness. This week we are going to be continuing on with the 30 day uh, fitness challenges book by Andy Thusen. Just because there's so many great activities in this book and I wanted to preview a couple more. So the book includes 60 habit forming routines to make working out fun. And so one of the things I want to talk about is more wellness related and that is drink your dang water. Uh, as you can see, I have got a gallon jug. So we're going to talk about doing a gallon challenge to improve your overall health and wellness through hydration. So along the bottle, I mark the eight ounce increments on it. Uh, I'm an early bird, so the times on here necessarily don't reflect my schedule, uh, but they were guidelines given in the book. So 7 a.m., wake up, rise and shine, hydrate after a long night's rest. You've probably become a little dehydrated. 9 a.m., drink eight, eight ounces before breakfast to aid in digestion and help you feel full. Again, my affirmation is I've got this. Uh, 11 a.m., drink eight more ounces before lunch. 1 p.m., drink eight more ounces. You are halfway done. Continues into our afternoon, 3 p.m., continuing to hydrate. I feel awesome. 5 p.m., drink eight more ounces before dinner, again, to help you feel full and aid in digestion. 7 p.m., eight more ounces, no excuses. Uh, be done by 9 p.m. And um, I'm doing this for me. What a great way to improve our overall health and wellness by simply drinking water. Not to mention that this full gallon jug weighs about eight pounds and you can do some bicep curls or perhaps even an overhead press with the jug. Uh, other helpful hints to get the water down is add some ice, infuse it with lemon, limes, oranges, uh, maybe some frozen grapes, cucumbers, uh, I like mint or basil leaves, perhaps add some rosemary. So that's really one easy and effective way to improve our overall health. Um, page 82 in the book talks about getting flexible. Uh, this is also very important for us as it improves our overall health. Uh, and stretching exercises are very good for us. So starting out, just standing out with, the, up with a simple head roll. Rolling that chin to your chest and rolling it from right to left, left to right. Good. Moving into a forward fold, coming down one vertebrae at a time, reaching as far as you possibly can and just holding that hold. So whether or not you can get down to your shins, nice flat back, or all the way to the ground. You should feel a really, really nice stretch in the back of your legs and your hamstrings. And the goal is to hold most stretches for about 30 seconds. In the essence of time, we're gonna go through them just a little quicker here this morning. Good, coming down to your mat in a four point stance, making sure that your shoulders are over your wrists Nice flat back, going up into a cat, holding your belly button and your abs in all the way up to your spine, rolling down into a cow. Back up into a cat and down into the cow. Good, let's go ahead and stretch our hips out a little bit. Coming forward into a runner's lunge. This is really great for our hip flexors. Again, holding most of these stretches about 30 seconds. Coming all the way back, pulling our heel and toe up. You should feel that nice hamstring stretch right here. Good. And you'll want to do this on both sides. Coming back down to the ground into a simple child's pose. Tips of your toes together. 
really relaxing your shoulders, bringing your head down, turning our thumbs up. This is called a child's pose. Taking nice deep breaths in through our nose and blowing it out our mouth. Taking this all the way down onto our stomach. Coming all the way up into a cobra. Toes down on your mat. You should feel a really nice stretch in your abdominal muscles as well as in your lower back. All right, and coming back up, we can do a standing shoulder stretch, dropping that shoulder down. Extending that arm up and overhead, stretching out our tricep. If you can walk your fingers down your back slightly, that will go ahead and extend the stretch. Again, remembering to do this on both sides. Good, so flexibility is really, really important uh, in our lives as is a good stretch. It will prepare you both before and after a workout. Um, if you are ready to make some positive changes in your life, feel more fit and energetic, I encourage you to pick a challenge and start getting healthy. Thanks for joining us today.